Traditional stick lacrosse is a native game. We find it in the Northeast, we find it in the Great Lakes, we found it in the Southeast, we find it in the Southern Plains. Everybody has their own story how it came to, but the thing that they share commonly is it came from the Creator. The tribes of this land, Dakota and Ojibwe, use a, a particular type of wooden stick that's got a characteristic hoop shape at the end of the stick. We use all of our gifts at the same time. Our lungs, we use our voice, we use the land, we use water, we use everything all at once. That was kind of my realization for why it was called the Creator's Game. Today we're gathered for social reasons, a social game. We also have competitive games and we have games that are tied to ceremony. Now, historically, a lot of the non-native people saw this game, had great interest, and kind of appropriated it. It became sort of an elite game. They changed the rules. All these fancy Ivy League schools on the East Coast started playing it. But now, probably in the past 20, 30 years, for many communities, and here in the Great Lakes, it certainly has made a resurgence. The roots of this game and its connection to this land is not known at all by most of the residents here. I know that it's not talked about in schools or in sports gatherings, so most of the folks that we speak with are surprised, even from our own community, are surprised to know that this game is Minnesota's first team sport, original team sport. Having this game available to our young people can help them, empower them, and also reconnect to themselves as well as others. So I've been a very shy kid, just in elementary and middle school. I was the only native kid, so I didn't really have that like connection with anyone. I always got bullied. So when I first started playing traditional lacrosse, it really got me to be more interactive towards others and talk a lot more. So with traditional lacrosse, it helped me want to continue lacrosse and try out for high school and possibly for college. It's exploded into the modern game, so we know the rest of the country likes the game. But what's unique is that Minnesota has such a tie to the game, like the world's oldest lacrosse stick is from Minnesota that we know of. And you can just tell when the players take the field that it's coming from somewhere deep. It makes me feel good when we see all these young people out here playing. You know, when we think about lacrosse, particularly today, we think about how it impacts Native people. Health, spirituality, self-confidence, community, family, stick lacrosse, traditional lacrosse, brings all of those things together and brings it back for the Native people.